Hello friends, today we will discuss about the importance of fabric bleachers. To understand the meaning, concept and history of bleachers. To know about the classification of different bleachers. To know about the application and care instructions of bleachers. To know about the concept and importance of optical brightening agents. Clothes that are very much discolored from long storage or poor washing may require bleaching. Bleaches are used to render colored or discolored fabrics white. Bleaching usually involves either oxidative or reductive reactions that decompose stains and soils from the fabric. These processes may involve the removal or change of larger molecules and color bearing groups in the stain or soil into smaller more soluble units which are more easily removed in the bleaching process. Let us look into the history of bleaching. By 1000 AD the Dutch had become the experts in laundering clothes and keeping them white. Clothes washed by using a mixture of lye and caustic alkaline solution that basically destroys dirt or stain from the white fabric. Unfortunately, it often destroyed the fabric itself. So, the Dutch cut the harness of the lye mixture by adding some sour milk that softened the effects of the lye. The entire process took up to 8 weeks of long time. At household level, sour milk was used for cleansing and whitening the clothes. In 1772, German born Swedish chemist Carl Wilhelm Schiele was the first to isolate the chemical element called chlorine that can be found in the Dutch launderers lye, commonly called as sodium hypochlorite. Chlorine became an essential ingredient in subsequent modern bleachers. The English chemist Sir Henry Davy gave chlorine its name derived from Greek word for greenish yellow. Let us look into the classification of bleachers. The first one is naturally available bleach that is sunlight. Sunlight has a greater bleaching effect on damp fabrics than on dry ones. To bleach a fabric, wash it and spread it out in the sun on a sheet or other clean white cloth or hang it in a line for a day, if more for 2 or 3 days. If the fabrics are spread on the grass, sunlight along with the plant pigment and a dew can become an effective bleach to whiten the sheets of the cloth. Sunlight can often fade dyes. So, to avoid fading in colored fabrics, the discolored portion of the garment is alone exposed to sunlight. Prolonged exposure to sunlight will cause fabrics to deteriorate and also white fabrics will become more yellowish. Now, let us look at classification of chemical bleaches. Bleaches are used in laundering to remove stains that do not respond to normal washing. Bleaches should not be used as cleansers. It is not possible to bleach the dirt away in laundering clothes. The process of bleaching is based on its nature of bleach, mode of action and types of different fibers and fabrics when used under various conditions of concentration, pH, time and temperature. Bleaching agents can be divided into two different classes that is oxidizing bleach and the reducing bleach. Let us look into the first one is oxidizing bleach. Oxidizing bleach works either by adding oxygen 
or removing hydrogen and make colored surface white. The bleaching agent is a chemical substance that decomposes an alkali solution and produce active oxygen which can be combined with stains it forms a colorless compound. The oxidizing bleachers are more frequently used than reductive bleachers. Let us look into reducing bleachers. The reducing bleachers work by removing oxygen from the coloring matter of the stain. Many coloring substances can be reduced to colorless compound by reducing agents. Before the invention of hydrogen peroxide, sulfur dioxide was only a bleaching agent used for wool. Fibers like polyamide, polyacrylics and polyacetate can be bleached using reductive bleaching technology. Coming to the oxidizing bleachers, sodium hypochlorite or it is also called as Jovelli water. Sodium hypochlorite is a strong bleaching agent and can be used on white cotton and linen. To prepare Jovelli water in the home laundry, 1 LB that is 480 grams washing soda has to be dissolved in 1 quarter boiling water and 1 by 4 LB chloride of lime has to be mixed with 2 quarters cold water. After making both the solutions, it should be left for some time to settle down. The clear liquid from both the solutions should be decanted into another container. This will give sodium hypochlorite and calcium carbonate which will precipitate. The precipitate should be allowed to settle and then strained off to get the clear and clean liquid. This must be always stored in color bottles as it deteriorates in light. To use on fabrics for bleaching, it should be diluted with equal quantity of hot water and sponge. The strain portion with it until the stain is removed and then rinse it well. Next category that is hydrogen peroxide. It is used as an antiseptic and a deodorant. It is a mild and useful agent. It must however be used with great care as it may cause serious injury to the fabrics. It is a safe bleach on all fabrics and is used for whitening of wool and silk in addition to cotton and linen fabrics which will show aloneness due to repeated washings. It must never be allowed to dry in the fabric. The 10 volume strength can be used without dilution for white linen and cottons. But for other fabrics, it should be diluted by adding 6 parts of cold water to 1 part of hydrogen peroxide. Little ammonia is then added to make the solution alkaline. Next variety of bleach is sodium perborate bleach. This is a bleach often found in many oxygen washing powders. It is made of borax, caustic soda and hydrogen peroxide. It is mostly used on white linen and cotton. To use the bleach, make a solution of sodium perborate in the proportion of 1 teaspoon to 1 pint of boiling water. The stain should be sponged with this solution. The bleach will be effective if the temperature gradually rises from lower temperature. If it has to be used on protein fabrics, it should be first neutralized with acetic acid and then made slightly alkaline so as to avoid tendering of the fabrics. Next category is potassium permanganate bleach. 
This bleach has a high content of oxygen which will combine with so order to remove certain obstinate stains for cotton, linen and fabrics and also protein fabrics. Make a solution of potassium permanganate in the proportion of 1 ounce that is about 28 grams of bleach with 1 gallon or about 4 liters of water for cotton and linen fabrics. The fabric is steep in the bleach for a few minutes and then the excess bleach is rinsed out of the fabric which has now stained with characteristic brown color. A brown color is left in the fabrics which can be removed by treating with the following solutions that is sodium hydrosulfide, oxalic acid solution that can be 28 grams in 4 liters of water or 2 percent hydrogen peroxide acidified with acetic acid that can be 1 teaspoon of vinegar for 500 ml of bleach. The fabric must be rinsed thoroughly in water after treatment with the above chemical. Next category is the reducing bleachers. The first one is sodium hydrosulfide. It is sold in powder form when dissolved in water it readily absorbs oxygen to form sodium meta bisulfite. By absorbing oxygen forms sodium sulfite and sulfur dioxide. The sulfur dioxide gets oxidized to sulfuric acid and this gives out hydrogen. The removal of stain is taken place in two ways. First, the powder takes away oxygen from the stain thus break up the coloring matter and secondly hydrogen given off by sulfuric acid removes the broken up components of the coloring matter. The concentration of solution varies according to the resistance of stain and nature of fabric. The fabrics then should be rinsed thoroughly in water containing high concentrations of soap. Let us look into its uses. The bleach can be used in spotting treatment for many stains due to grass, dung, wood polish, mildew, ink, potassium permanganate and dye stains. The bleach can also be used for colored clothes. In such cases, sometimes bleach may accidentally run into the color to change it. Immediately dipping into an alkaline solution or immediate application of soap may rectify the problem. Sodium bisulfite. This is a very mild reducing agent and is obtained by partial neutralization of sulfuric acid with caustic soda. The bleaching effect of this chemical is due to release of sulfur dioxide which reduces the stain by removing oxygen to discolor the fabric. The stain part of the fabric is dipped in the bleach until the color is removed. It is thoroughly washed to remove residual chemical and air dried. The last step is essential as any residual sulfur dioxide may absorb atmospheric air to form sulfur trioxide which reacts with water forms sulfuric acid that deteriorates the fabric. The next is sodium thiosulfate. The chemical is also a reducing agent which acts through liberation of sulfur dioxide. For bleaching of cotton fabric, hyposolution is obtained by dissolving 1 ounce about 28 grams of sodium thiosulfate and half ounce of 36 percent acetic acid in 8 quarts that is about 8 liters of water. The fabrics are then treated with sodium bisulfite bleach. 
important instruction and care for application of bleaches. Never pour bleach liquid or dry directly onto the clothes. It must first be diluted in a small container and then added to the water in the tub before the clothes are immersed. Hot water helps to dissolve the bleach and has an its action. Right amount of bleach should be used according to the direction and measurement should be precise. Most important step in bleaching is to wash the clothes thoroughly after bleaching to avoid traces of the bleach that remains in the fabric so as to protect it from tendering of the fabric itself. Oxygen bleaches are safe for all the fabrics and they are less damaging to the colored fabric than chlorine bleaches. They maintain the brightness of colored clothes and whiteness of white clothes and do not cause yellowing of fibers. The fabrics to be bleached with chlorine bleaches include white cottons, linens and rayons. All the sturdy white items of the household such as bed sheets, pillowcases, bath towels, dish cloth, wash cloths, shirts and blouses, underwear need bleaching to keep them fresh, white and free from stains. Bleaching helps to keep fast color cottons bright, shirts, skirts, blouses, pajamas, night dresses, house coats, children's clothes, towels and sheets need bleaching. Fabrics not to be bleached with chlorine bleaches include silk and wool. Chlorine bleaches must never be used on protein fiber. Its oxidizing action will turn the fabric brown and disintegrate it. Colored silk and wool will bleed and fade. Mild sodium perborate bleach is best for protein fiber fabrics. Colored fabrics with less fastness from cotton, linen, rayon will bleed and fade in contact. Resin finished cottons. Chlorine bleach never suitable for cotton fabrics treated with resin. For various properties like wash and wear, wrinkle resistance and permanent press and fabrics become yellow and disintegrate and also reduces the tensile strength of the cotton fibers. The alloying due to chlorine retention is caused by the resin. All items carrying the symbol or written warning do not bleach. Children's and women's clothes often carry labels that contain instructions about bleaching. The wash care symbols for bleachers include a triangle that means bleach when needed. Any commercially available bleach product may be used in the laundering process. Next will be a triangle with two diagonal lines that often represents non-chlorine bleach when needed. So, it means only non-chlorine color safe bleach may be used in the laundering process. Chlorine bleach may not be used. Next one is a black triangle with a cross mark that denotes it should not be bleached. So, that means no bleach product may be used. The garment is not color fast or structurally not able to withstand any bleach. So, next section includes optical brightening agents usually called as OBAs. Optical brightening agents absorb ultraviolet rays and re-emit visible light in the blue region. The optical brightening agents are most widely used in textiles, paper, detergents and 
plastics. The optical brightening effect is obtained by the addition of light, which means that the amount of light reflected by the fluorescent whitening agents FWA also called as optical brighteners. They absorb high energy radiation in the ultraviolet to violet region. The range includes 330 nm to 380 nm on the part of characteristic molecules and emit lower energy radiation in blue region in the visible spectrum. The range includes 400 nm to 450 nm. To counteract the yellowing appearance, the FWA should be transparent on the substrate and should not absorb the visible region of the spectrum. The OBAs are effective only when the incidental light has a significance proportion such as our daylight of the UV rays. When material treated with optical brightening agents are exposed to ultraviolet black light source, it glows in the dark. Anionic OBAs exhaust on cotton, wool and silk. Cationic optical brightening agents exhaust on acrylic and satin polyesters and non-ionic OBAs exhausting on all the synthetics. So, let us see the desired properties of fluorescent whitening agents for the textiles use. The properties that are required before selecting an optical brightener for textile application are it should have good solubility, should not have its own color and good substantivity for the textile substrate under OBA application. Optical brightening agents should have a good light as well as wet fastness properties. Its rate of strike on the substrate, build up and exhaustion properties need to be known. Requirement of electrolytes and its sensitivity towards different exhausting agents. Effect of temperature on the exhaustion and build up properties. Application pH range and sensitivity towards change in pH. Effect of water hardness. It should have good leveling and penetrating properties. Should not decompose to colored products on exposure to atmospheric conditions as well as storage and it should not absorb light in the visible region. It should be compatible and stable with finishing chemicals, auxiliary and process such as heat and temperatures. It should be stable and fast to the common oxidative and reductive bleaching chemicals and bleaching systems. So, friends I think you have understood about the importance different classification of bleachers and what is the care one needs to take whenever you want to apply bleaching properties on different fabrics. Thank you.